All right, so in this video, I am checking in after drinking yesterday, and this is a sequel to the previous video. And I do have hangover, obviously, because I was drinking alcohol, but it's not too bad. It's mainly the fact that I haven't slept enough and the sleep quality has been quite low. But I uh, I did have headache in the morning, so I didn't, I was dehydrated. And that's because for some reason I forgot to drink enough water yesterday as I was drinking alcohol. And I was driving from my friend's place to my home today and it took about an hour. And during that hour I did some thinking on what I think of drinking alcohol and how people who want to consume alcohol could do it better without getting such bad hangovers and getting such negative effects from consuming the alcohol. What I was thinking in the car was, why the hell did I drink beer yesterday? Because I I mentioned in the previous video, I think that I love drinking whiskey. And I think whiskey drinking is something that I'm just at right now. I don't feel like I want to give up drinking whiskey forever because it doesn't really make my life worse that badly that much it doesn't have that big of an effect what had the bad effects what had the negative effect what caused this hangover and tiredness really was the fact that i was drinking beer without thinking but i could have replaced that beer with anything else with something actually rehydrating just water or something with electrolytes in it if I replaced all the beer yesterday with something healthy and something rehydrating, then I wouldn't even have a hangover today from the whiskey. So I would have been able to drink the whiskey without getting a hangover. So I just started to think, I would just try to think about how could I optimize drinking alcohol because I still do want to drink whiskey with my friends occasionally. And one of the things I want to do on this channel with this channel is that I want this channel to be a self-improvement-ish channel, but I would love self-improvement and self-help to become more mainstream and become more easy to approach, more accessible, perhaps is the right word. I would like people to not think and this is something, at least one of my friends seems to think this way. If you're into self-help and self-improvement, then you are following Andrew Tate, for example, uh, or you are someone who doesn't like, who is trying to be perfect. And that's, that's one of the reasons why I think a lot of people, I see this in my family and in my friends too, that in my family, I have always seen and heard my family members think that they don't want to be too perfect. And I think, you know, that's great. That's a great thing to understand that we can never be perfect. So we shouldn't be disappointed when we are not perfect. But the problem is I see so many people around me who have low standards. And for whatever reason, they... Some of those people seem to think that if you set high standards for yourself, you're doing it out of a place of selfishness or narcissism or something, that you are trying to be better than others or you are trying to be perfect. And like, I think many people misunderstand what it means to improve yourself. And it's become sort of a... My friend, one of my friends called it a buzzword, that self-help is a buzzword. So that's why he doesn't read books like The Way of the Superior Man. When I recommended that book to him, he was like, he doesn't care about self-help because it's a buzzword. And I sort of understand because it has become something on the internet that you can, if you don't know about it, then you have seen video titles and thumbnails and it can seem something really alien and something really weird and something you don't even want to have anything to do with. Do you think we could make the environment on YouTube, for example, for self-improvement more accessible and less extreme and less strict so it wouldn't be about 
not having any biases. It wouldn't it wouldn't be about trying to chase perfection in every area of your life, but rather it would be like look at your life and look at yourself and find something that you want to fix and improve that part. And you can choose to prove many areas or just a few or just one but it's going to be beneficial and you shouldn't turn away from self-improvement as a whole just because there's people who are really extreme with it and there's people who tell you to cut off your friends for example if they're not a goofy influence on you and so for example in my case just because my friends drink alcohol some people would argue I should cut those friends out of my life because they're not growing a business and being productive but rather they just go to work and drink beer like every 90 percent of other people so i don't know man let me know what you think but getting back to the hangover thing um so i'm extremely tired today and i have to be careful to not spend too much time on my computer i want to edit the previous video and this video but I have to be really careful because in the past, the way I relapsed into watching porn was usually when I was hungover and I went onto my computer. Because for some reason, being hungover is like the ultimate. You're so drained. You're absolutely drained of energy. And you don't have... Your brain wants to get the easy pleasure from things and nothing that takes nothing challenging your brain doesn't want to do anything challenging now what i am gonna do today is i am gonna go clean my cold tub and change the water and take a dip in there and uh i think i'm gonna do a really light workout today i think i'm gonna do pull-ups because i want to do more pull-ups so i'm gonna do a, a light pull-up workout in the evening i think but other than that, I'm going to do editing. And those are the productive things that I'm going to do today. And if I do those things, then I this will be the most productive hangover day in my whole life. But I don't know. I just wanted to check in. And I do think I should try to be more aware, more self-aware when I go see my friends and I drink alcohol. Because like... I shouldn't have been drinking that beer. That beer didn't really do any good for me. That was something that just dehydrated my body. And we do have this culture in Finland that we go to sauna and we drink beer. And it was the same yesterday. And we spent a lot of time in the sauna, I think probably almost two hours or something, going out of the sauna, obviously. Uh, occasionally to take a break and then going back into the sauna but when you drink beer and you go to sauna the sauna dehydrates your body on the outside and the beer dehydrates your body on the inside so if you don't drink water you're going to be really dehydrated like I am right now uh, but anyway I think that's everything for today I will possibly film maybe I will film something some additional clips at the end of this video but you'll see that right after I end this one. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Once again, I appreciate it a lot. And uh, if you want to see my take on a more accessible self-improvement channel, then feel free to subscribe and I will see you again. So I decided I'm going to add this little update clip at the end of the video telling that I did in fact do editing today and no porn relapse despite editing because I just can't because I can't relapse into porn right now because my identity is now so strongly tied to making these videos and like today's agenda is so clear has been so clear make a video and edit yesterday's video and you have no choice you have to do it and that's why there's there's no chance for me to be, you know, bored or having excuses, especially because my channel got recently like five new subscribers in a short span of time. 
So when I when I experience something like that, where there's il- even that little growth that makes me feel like things are moving forward, I can't ruin everything by not getting this shit done. So I did edit today, and now I'm filming this last clip. Uh, I did not take a cold plunge today. I'm going to take one tomorrow, but I am going to clean the top today. I emptied it and I'm going to clean it uh, for tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm going to actually place it outside. It's been inside in the in one of my buildings, but now it's going to be, I'm going to put it outside because it shouldn't snow anymore. So I can place it outside now. And I will maybe film that, taking the cold plunge outside in the tub. And um, I also decided I'm not going to do a workout today. The reason is because next week is going to be a bit different. It's going to be really busy. I'm helping my girlfriend with her business, basically. She uh, does manicure and stuff, and I need to really help her a lot on multiple days. And I can't hit the gym really normally next week. So what I'm going to do is tomorrow I'm going to do a bench deadlifts and squats, all those three big lifts at the gym in one single session. And then on Tuesday morning, I'm going to do a arm workout and a pull up workout in my home gym before I start working. And then I go to my girlfriend's place. But anyway, so just this little update that I unfortunately did not train today nor did I take the cold plunge, but I'm going to do those tomorrow and the day after. And the most important thing to me, like this day is a complete victory for me because I fucking edited. I took the camera and I filmed a new video despite being hungover and I edited the previous video and now I'm just kind of, you know, go to bed early enough since I'm tired so I can wake up tomorrow normally and have a productive day tomorrow. So as you can see, drinking and getting a bit hungover, it makes you do less because normally I would have worked out today, but now I didn't. But yeah, you can see that uh, having a little hangover doesn't ruin everything, but it does affect you negatively. So yeah, that's all I get to say for this one and uh, thanks for watching.